Whoa. Hi. Hi. Hey friends, um, my name's Drea. I thought I'd make a video log, a vlog, because I've reached 1988 followers on Instagram and that is my birth year. So I thought I'd share some facts about me. So you know who I am, besides someone who promised that they would post every Wednesday and doesn't do it. So my name is Drea. I was born in 1988. That makes me 31. I was born in Hong Kong, which when I was born was under British rule <laughs> before it got handed over back to China. My family moved over here to Australia. My dad is Cantonese Portuguese. My mum was born in Macau, which is a tiny, tiny, tiny city where less than 1% of the population is Macanese. So she's Macanese mix, which is like um, Portuguese, Filipino, Spanish, um, Indian. I am the proud mixed race child of two mixed race parents. I'm a cocktail. So we moved to Australia in 19, I want to say 1995. I remember the Spice Girls, so that must mean 1995. I went to school over here. I didn't dance, but I always wanted to. I was big into dance movies and would replicate center stage. <laughs> Save the last dance, bring it on. I played music, I played violin, I played piano. In year 12, I, I moved out of home super young, like I think I was 16 or 17. It was actually at the end of year 11. It was a choice between moving home or to the boarding house, um, and my mom would continue paying my school fees, or you're on your own, son. I chose the second one because I couldn't live at home and I took basically a gap year or two to work uh, at that age, which was full on. But I don't regret anything. I am really grateful that I was given a lot of couches to stay on because for a period there, I got thrown out of the place where I was living. These are the things you learn when you're young. When I took myself back to school, I went to a program called Adult Tertiary Prep. I did year 11 and 12 in one year, even though I had already done year 11. <laughs> oh well, that's the program that was offered and I paid for it myself. And I put myself into university and studied arts at UQ the University of Queensland um, focusing on literary theory. Hot tip, if you love reading, don't study literary theory. Yeah, because I hated it. And then I went to art school a few years later. Um, I went to study visual art at QUT and made weird art. Somewhere in between, I was in a bunch of punk bands with my best friend and um, that was really, really fun. While studying visual art at QUT, my friend Chloe took me to a Bollywood dance class run by a woman called Rachel. It was called Bolly Funk Dance, not to be confused with B-Funk. There was Bollywood and hip hop. I think it was $7 for one class, $10 for two, and I was like, oh, I know me a bargain. I'm gonna do two hours of exercise instead of one. Because exercise was kind of like foreign to me. Like didn't do anything. It was a spaghetti human, not fully cooked. So I went to do that and I happened to be good at it. Plus I was already a bit into Bollywood music. I really liked kind of the older psychia stuff, like Asha Bosle, R.D. Berman, that era. I got big into it. I was pretty good at it. And it sparked my interest in Indian dance. So I started learning Birth Natyam, I learned Lavni and Kathak um, via Skype with a teacher in Mumbai, Amrita. I just learned as much as I could. It's been really important to me over the years to remember that beginner experience and to do that. I've learned something new almost every year. I've learned flamenco um, with Simone Pope, who is dope. Um, Rhyme. I've learned hip hop, Juanita Sirs, Mega Jam, so many, so many different like hip hop teachers whacking. Shout out to Emic, Popping, Contemporary, Yubin Fusion, um, shout out to Yasim, Buto, Akido, <laughs> uh, 
Bankara. What else have I learned? I've learned so much. Cabalia, Odyssey, ballet. I'm really into ballet now. Ballet is amazing. And I'm really passionate about just like learning. Not only has it given me a chance to see how different teachers teach, it's also given me an opportunity to remember, oh, this is what it's like to not know how to do something, which is a really important thing to stay humble and be, you know, just be empathetic to the beginner experience. Don't judge because we don't know everything. And as soon as you realize, I don't know everything, or I don't know anything, <laughs> I am nothing and nobody. The world is so much more free, right? Yes. So what was I talking about? I was talking about my dance journey. So the lady that I learned from originally with Bollywood, and um, we went into partnership for a while, and then she moved to Sydney to start her own stuff over there. And I started Dance Masala in 2012. So Dance Masala has been running for seven years, and it's been really awesome. I'm not going to talk heaps about different things, but I just thought I would share this little bit about myself. Let me know if you like this vlog. If you don't like it, you don't have to let me know. I hope you have a wonderful day. I think I enjoyed making this vlog. <laughs> vlog. So um, yeah, let me know if you liked it and I can make more, I guess. I got more to share. Let's do it. Have a great day.